let's take a look at what the status is of different requirements in the EU. What are we facing today and what are we facing in the future? Existing regulations in the European Union currently are based on a substance by substance kind of approach where we have certain PFAS compounds which are restricted or reportable under REACH, persistent organic pollutants, and other regulations. Examples of that are PFOS, PFHXS, PFOA, PFHXA is proposed. We have PFCA. So we have a lot of these different substances that are being restricted. And when we look at how that's being accomplished, we can see that the REACH SVHC list, the candidate list for authorization, has things like Gen X, PFBS, PFHXS, PFHPA on it. We have different REACH substances that are undergoing REACH evaluation, like PFHXA. And then we have yet other compounds that are being slowly at classified under the CLP regulation of the, under different hazard classes, which brings them into scopes into different regulations like a medical device regulation, et cetera. More importantly, the biggest risk right now to manufacturers is a proposed ban on PFAS in the EU. And this would apply to all products, including electronic devices, electrical equipment. And basically this is a ban that's been proposed by five different EU member states. And what this does is it bans all PFAS from use, except for essential uses. Now, the problem is, is that the proposal doesn't define what these essential uses would be. So that still needs to be worked out between the authorities and the industries. And this applies to all industries, not just electronics, but to us as electronic and electrical equipment manufacturers, this is a potential concern, right? So this proposal was actually um, put forth in January uh, and published in February of 2023. So the proposal has been out for about a year or so now. There was a six month consultation period that ended back in September. During that consultation period, the European Chemicals Agency received more than 5,600 comments from more than 4,400 organizations, companies, and individuals. So what that means is that there's a lot of work to be done. Now the European Chemicals Agency is required to go through all 5,600 comments and take those seriously and evaluate those. So what the final form of this ban or this requirement is gonna be is still yet to be known. But we do know that under its current definition, it covers approximately 10,000 PFAS uh, in scope for the ban based on European Chemicals Agency's inventory of PFAS or known PFAS. They expected to come into force in some form and 2026, maybe 2027, depending on how quickly the European Chemicals Agency and member states are able to move forward with this. But we know that this is coming towards us and we will have to deal with this in some form. Watch the full length video and gain access to our full archive of educational webinars at greensofttech.com videos. And while you're there, learn about our premier solutions for environmental regulation compliance.